for the daily races going nowhere going nowhere and the tears are filling up their glasses no expression no expression in my head i want to drown my sorrow no tomorrow no tomorrow and i find it kind of funny i find it kind of sad the dreams in which i'm dying are the best i ever had i find it hard to tell you cuz i find it hard to take When people run in circles it's a very very mad world mad Where there is discord, may we bring harmony. Where there is error, may we bring truth. Where there is doubt, may we bring faith. And where there is despair, may we bring hope. To those waiting with bated breath for that favorite media catchphrase, the U-turn, I have only one thing to say. You turn if you want to. <laughs> the ladies not for turning. God save the Queen. What happens next? What is the not? Thank you very much. What's your reaction? Just rejoice at that news and congratulate our forces and the Marines. Former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher provides a voice case study for British Impressionist Steve Nallen. This is Thatcher in 1960 when she was a new member of parliament. Oh, very much so. I've done a good deal of other speaking, but speaking in the House of Commons is quite different. It's a unique experience. It really is because of... of the What's really interesting about Thatcher here, I mean, she's so young, she's in her early 30s, and uh, for anybody, you know, in their early 30s, your voice is always a lot younger sounding. And it really is very, very high up here. Over the years, that was brought lower, because it doesn't sound as good. It sounds patronizing. Very, very high. Fast forward to the year 1983, and she has just won a second term as prime minister. I think we shall have to make up our minds about the cabinet very quickly, because otherwise the press will discuss it all for me. She's learned as a politician that that high sound is not going to help get her elected, and that, did I say it, even husky, sexy voice just might appeal. <laughs>